Can you help me? I have a bit of a problem here. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. I need your help. <laughs> My help? You that are watching, I need your help. <laughs> um, this is our mini greenhouse. I made, we've got like three or four videos about making mini greenhouses. And this one um, blew out away really well until <laughs> it didn't. So I want you to help me build the ultimate mini greenhouse, okay? Are you gonna bark again? Henry? What happened here? I think we have the bones of a good mini greenhouse here. I think the fail was the ends. And this worked pretty well, but maybe the plywood was too thin. Um, you guys tell me, because I think sometimes you actually are more experts on these things than I am. I'm just the guy that happens to have the video camera, you know? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Okay. The plywood was too thin. Oh. <laughs> but what can we do? Can we, do we put thicker plywood? We need something that holds the thermatic vents in. True. And a bunch of you have asked where to get the vents. The link is in the notes below the video, okay? You well, gotta look. You gotta click the down button and down below there will be a link, all right? So stop asking me. <laughs> this top bar does really well. The hoops do really well. By the way, take some, we also learned to put some hose over this screw or drill the screw from underneath to hold this in. This screw here broke the plastic. Oh yeah. So a lot of people suggested screwing from underneath so the screw head is here and goes through the wood just into the plastic. Good idea. And I think that would be really good. So that was from our previous greenhouse fail video. We're good at these, aren't we? <laughs> but I think this is a really good system. It's just the thermatic vents are great because they open up and allow um, the hot air out. They open at like 40 degrees. They shut at like 35, I think. They're really neat and they're dirt cheap. So. I want to preserve the thermatic vent, otherwise I have to come out here and raise them and lower them and that kind of thing, and you know, I'll just forget, so. I know, he'll just forget. But I think the hoops work really well, the crossbar works really well. Our weak point is this here. That's like. Flimsy. Wobbly like jelly, like <laughs> jello pudding. With jello pudding, does pudding wobble? It weebles. Okay. Um, Jello, gelatin wobbles, the pudding doesn't. I go with pudding these days. Okay. The plastic fails as well, but the, I was looking at ordering greenhouse UV stable, you know, poly tunnel plastic, and they said it'll last two or three or four years, and this, this is about a two or three year plastic. It does not like UV, so it just, it breaks like this. But then let me show you a success. Is it warm in there? Ooh. It's nice under here. <laughs> this is a success with our mini greenhouse design. This uses reinforced cement wire, okay? But do you see that? Uh, collapse. Collapse. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, I do. <laughs> so this got a really heavy snow load and there's no plywood on this end. There's no support. So I pushed this down. I could put plywood on the end here, um, but the plywood on that end Stood up really well. The concrete mesh does well. Honestly, would the kale even mind? Well, the thing is, for kale nut, you need a higher hoop. Oh, okay, it would mind. All right. But what I do think is the plastic lasts longer when it has more support, and this is a bunch of 
See, this is a bunch of squares of wire that hold the plastic up, whereas with the, pot, the PVC pipe hoop house, there's not any support, support going crossways and this ways and that ways. Do that again. <laughs> Interpretive dance. For our hoop houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody else has a video about that. No, interpretive hoop house dance. <laughs> so maybe a mashup between these two. I'm kind of thinking out loud here. But again, you guys tell me in the comments below, all right? Because a lot of you actually know a heck of a lot more than I do. I just happen to have the yellow Labrador. Come here. Hey. She's busy. It's Thanksgiving weekend. Hey, hey, hey. Can I have a kiss? No. Can I... No, 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 no. <laughs> the last thing. She's gonna go find a ball now. So for Henry, we throw the ball ah. as far as we can. Wait, that didn't work. And the work. wrong dog goes together. <laughs> <laughs> you the balls mixed up. Oops. Is there more? Well, this uh, this one definitely has a thicker plywood, and it's lasted longer. This is a thinner plywood. But is there some other material I could use besides plywood? Because plywood doesn't like water. It, um, it splits apart. And you, this one, you, you can't see it, but it's starting to split apart here. Something that will hold our thermatic vents. Again, the link is in the notes below the video here. Look for yourself. You to click the down arrow <laughs> to see that. Oh dear. <laughs> but again, let's make the ultimate mini greenhouse. Why don't you guys do the comments and then I could build it. Why don't you guys come over here and build it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we have some coffee. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Butter bean coffee. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I love hounds, love them. Oh, that was my inside camera operator voice. We'll link, we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna have coffee later. <laughs> Butterbean's coffee smells amazing. Tennis ball, Labrador. Pass it down. That's great. All right, let me know how to fix my hoop house. Charlie, come here. Come here, Charlie. All right, let me know how to fix my hoop house. Thank you, Ben. And get Henry to stop barking at me. <laughs> Make it a great day, everyone. We'll see you later. See ya.